Hi, I'm Amanda of Inspiring Inkin. Welcome to my craft room. In today's video, we're going to be making this super quick Christmas card. It just uses two colours of ink, Night of Navy and Whisper White. So let's get started. So here is a close up of the card. I have used Night of Navy cardstock and ink and Whisper White cardstock and ink. Um, the stamp sets are Hearts Come Home, which is back in the new annual catalogue, and Waterfront. So let's get started. I'm going to do the Night of Navy stamping first, and then the white. So this Waterfront stamp set is absolutely fabulous. It's got both... Um, beach, beach type scenes, so you've got palm trees and sand and beach huts, but you've also got forest scenes as well, um, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to do the trees first, and I'm going to stamp them. Sort of in a random pattern and then I'm going to over stamp as well so basically what I'm doing is I'm building up a forest and when you're happy with the amount of trees and things that you've got um, and then oh I'm going to turn over my card emergency side and then I'm just going to stamp on the inside and obviously stamp on your um, envelope as well. So I'm going to use this to ground everything. So I'm just going to pop it here on the sort of at the tree line really and just do a few additional stamps there. And the same here, just to sort of ground the trees. So that's the inside, so i just put that to one side. This now, we need to do the, the white stamping. And I told you this was a super quick card, didn't I? So what we need to do first is to clean the stamps. You can use a stamping scrub. I've got my absorber cloth um, just to quickly clean them off. moon stamp Splats. and the merry and bright okay so I'm going to stamp the merry and bright first because then I can see where my snow needs to go just going to stamp this and as before I'm sort of stamping multiple times so it just gives um, softer edges and then I'm going to stamp the moon now when I designed this card I had forgotten about this stamp now this stamp will make perfect snow and let me show you if you use the whisper white ink and stamp it over the trees you'll be able to see it makes really lovely snow i'd forgotten <laughs> that we got that stamp so when i taught this at class i showed them how to do some splattering using the craft ink reinker and an aqua painter. So I am going to move everything out of the way and show you as well. And then you can decide which you prefer to do. So I have actually marked this white craft ink only because the craft ink kind of gets into the aqua painter. Um, but this will work with just an ordinary paintbrush. So all I'm doing is just making it um, runny. And I'm just using acrylic block, you can you use an old paintbrush or anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on a plain piece of card so you'll be able to see. 
And what I did was I used something solid and hit the aqua painter against it. Now, the camera may be able to see you've got bigger splats here and directional splats and it actually is going over on my tablecloth or right over, it's probably on the floor. This is not a tidy technique, it is very messy. It's fun, um, but it's messy. So, to finish off this card, I'm actually going to use the snow stamp um, and then you'll be able to see the difference in the two. So, stamp that off. Now, the other thing to remember with the craft ink is that it takes longer to dry. So, I what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take that sheet of grid paper away and just leave that there for a second. Um, you need to leave it to dry. Um, if you put your finger on, and particularly like the sentiment, if you put your finger on it, it's gonna smudge. So whilst that's just drying just for a second, I can put some of my layers on, but I'm gonna clean my stamps. Now, you never see me with wet wipes um, on my stamps, apart from when I'm using craft ink. Um, now these are, these um, wet wipes, have no alcohol in them, they have no uh, colourings in them, and they have no um, fragrance. They're water-based wet wipes. So do use something like that. If you're going to use wet wipes, then that's the style or the sort that you need. Um, but the reason that I use them is to get the craft ink off because if I put it on my scrub, it makes my scrub white, and um, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit tricky really to get it off. So I use a wet wipe, and then I use my absorber cloth, or I use my scrub, and make it nice and clean. Okay, so that's tidied up. This is probably not quite as dry as I'd like it, but we are going to finish off the card anyway. I need a card blank. So let's get the Tombow. So put the inside in. Just like so. Um, and then it's got a white layer. And I love I love doing this. I love stamping on a coloured layer. And then matting and layering with Whisper White or very vanilla layer. It really makes it pop. And it's it's a bit unusual compared to the normal the normal cards that we make. So there we go. So that one's there. So there are the completed cards. Now I'd really like to know which one you prefer, with the stamps or with the splats. Um, certainly the, the stamping gives a more heavy snowfall look. Um, the splats, you can um, do it uh, a little bit less, but the cards are essentially the same. So that, um, that is all for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be amazing. You'll always be the first to know when I have a new video launched. If you'd like some more creative inspiration, do pop over to my blog, www.inspiringinkin.com. There you'll find lots of other tips and hints and tutorials and projects, and also a link to my online store where you can purchase any of the products that you've seen here today. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.